Hi, I'm Justin. Today we're going to shade some spheres. All right, so I'm going to just start with a, a base color. That's a horrible circle or sphere. So I'm not going to worry about it being a perfect circle for this, but you just kind of start with a base color. You pick where your light source is going to be. I'm going to have it coming in from the side here. And I'm just going to apply my lighter color. I'm going to do my mixing right on the palette here. <clears throat> to, uh... And I'm just going to kind of blend so it's lighter almost in the same shape of the, like a smaller circle here. And then I'm going to take some darker color and come in around the back. But I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a little bit of the, of the base color on the edge there uh, because of reflected light just coming off of whatever circle, whatever, whatever surface this, uh, this sphere is going to be sitting on. And then I'll just go back and revisit my, uh, my highlight again. Just lighten that up a little more again. Just doing some wet, wet blending. Throw a little bit of that lighter color on the back there. Oops. All right, so I let this dry for just just a couple minutes, so I can uh, come in now and my highlights will actually show up a little better. showing up. And then I'm going to visit my dark, my little dark side here one more time. All right, so this isn't a, it's not a perfect sphere, but it works for what we're doing. Um, another step that I, th I think adds a little bit to it is if, uh, if you know what color that this, this shape is gonna be resting on, say it's sitting on like a red, a red shelf in this, in this situation, um, we're gonna, the, most objects will actually reflect the color around it um, in addition to just being one straight up color. And so I'm going to use my uh, golden acrylic, uh, acrylic uh, glazing liquid. And uh, in fact, I'll just do that right on here so you can see it. I'm going to take some of that color from the, the surface it's standing on and I'm going to throw that into my, uh, my shape here where, where it would be reflecting off of it. So you just you get some nice little reds in there. It's uh it's not a necessary step, but it just kind of adds a little realism and it's kind of fun to throw that extra color in there. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Lasting Impression Art. Uh, we're going to be releasing art tutorials uh, regularly. So and also check out the links below. Uh, we're linking some affiliate programs and we get a small commission on those at no extra charge to you. So if you want to support us a little bit, make sure you click through those. And if you want to find out more about my art, uh, go to impsandmonsters.com. Thanks.